There are not many people in the world that can say they've done this, so I'm going to be one of the first. I've just touched the new Continental GT. Hey guys, welcome back for another vlog. I hope everyone is doing well. Now today what we're doing is it's already pretty much late in the day because I spent the first half of my day writing an article I'll talk more about that later and why I was writing an article for now I'm meeting up with one of my boys that you guys have not seen in the vlogs before He's actually a friend from school as well, but he's never been on my vlogs and we just couldn't really sync up He's at uni, I'm at uni, that kind of thing So I'm meeting up with him and we're going to an event together But yeah, I won't say too much in case he doesn't want to be on the vlog, so I'll catch you guys there There's the hotel behind me as you guys can see, pretty much downtown, all this stuff. Just walking up towards where the event is meant to be right now. Also, I didn't mention earlier, but as the sign and everything gave away, it's a Bentley event. And from what I was told, I think they're launching a new car. That's what I think is happening. If that is what's happening, that is awesome. I'm not entirely sure, it should be cool regardless. Alright guys, my friend is now gone, I'm going to chill for a bit, try and get some footage of this car But to be honest, right now, there's loads and loads of people that, there's a lot of people here that already have Bentleys And that are super interested in buying this car Alright guys, we're going to start at the very front, as you can see at the very front, the grill is absolutely huge I'm not sure that's normal but the grill looks much larger than it normally is There are not many people in the world that can say they've done this so I'm going to be one of the first I've just touched the new Continental GT There we go, I've done it I feel like I'm the only vlogger here because I've not seen anyone else hold a camera to their face and it's a bit nerve wracking in the sense that there's literally loads of business people staring at me like why is this guy holding a camera to his face? Alright guys, it's gotten really quiet for some reason, the music stopped, but there it is, a brand new Continental and I am off. The event is basically over, I don't think there's really like an end time, but everyone's sort of like leaving. I'm gonna head out, I'm gonna go see my boy Jason, I haven't seen him in a while so we're gonna go chill. I had an awesome time. Also check this out, they've got this, that is quite cool, it's like a replica model, I'm guessing that's like... Normally when it comes from them, it's like very very accurate to the T, so that's quite cool. Hi. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Just give me a free bag. You already know. Vlogging perks. Alright, so I'm about to leave the event. I just need to head off from here. They gave me this bag. We'll have a look at it when we get home. I don't really know what's inside. It's like a big box or something. No idea what to expect. But, had an awesome time and also at some point I may visit again to have a look at the car properly. I didn't get to sit inside and stuff, but it's a it's a pretty nice car. This hotel is so fancy. Oh, I didn't even say this is the Westin. So this is the Westin in Dubai. I think it's Al Habtu City. That's where it is. It's a very nice hotel. I've never been before. This is my first time. Beautiful. It is getting fancier and fancier. I'm loving this place. Well, I've not really had too many experiences in public and in hotels and stuff where I've had to complain, but the customer service here is insane. Every 10 steps someone's asking if I'm okay, if I need anything, literally just now. I think the manager just like stopped me to make sure everything was alright. 
either I look stressed or they're just super nice. I think they're just super nice, honestly. And check out this lobby. It is nice. So guys, I'm just leaving. As you can see, there's the canal and the water and like the rainbow and all that stuff. Pretty cool location. Guys, you know where we are, Denny's. Look who it is. It's Chase, uh, it's Chase. All right guys, I am now back home. I had a quick dinner with Jason and I will carry this vlog on tomorrow. All right guys, so as you saw, yesterday was the Bentley launch event and today we're actually at the showroom and here's my boy Saar here. Hey. As you guys can see, we're actually in the new Continental GT. Just checking it out, check out the view, look at this. That's the display, meant to be retina, wheel, all this good stuff. Oh yeah, well, yeah, they've, they've sort of assisted me with it uh, in case I can't reach. You know, they've got the standard stuff, LEDs. I don't know, the back seats are what we're discussing right now. The back seats are a bit... They're a waste. Problematic, yeah. Unless you have literal like babies, but you know that you can't go wrong with like, the, the seating and stuff. This is one of one or one of two. If I'm not wrong, one last one. night I got told it's one of one. So, very, very rare. So we've got the little projection there, nice little speaker. Oh my god, how is it? It's actually not that bad. No, but no, no, but the driver has to be so close. <laughs> actually, no, it's not that bad. Are you alright? You can drive. Tell him not to, obviously. <laughs> So this car is super expensive, right? So obviously I'm gonna open this. We're gonna expect like diamond encrusted like cup holders. Bro, I've seen that in a Tida. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say to be honest. I'm not like really a car reviewer. Nice little gear stick. The speakers are decent. That is cool. That is nice. I like the wood finish as well. I'm gonna, all right, so there's a spoiler, a tiny spoiler. I'll show you in a minute. How does this work? Oh, sport and eco. Go for sport. All right, that is cool. It's done it. Oh, we can't see it from here, but it's done it. We're going to go outside now. There we go. It's quite nice, actually. So we're in the customization area, so you can pick your wheel, everything, color, seat. I don't know, guys. See these office chairs? They're not normal. They're Bentley ones. They've also got this. I feel like that's the interior, is it? What's this for, do you think? It's like some sort of fab leather. Is this for the interior of the seats? Ah, okay. We're testing the back seats. It's not too bad. Oh my God, look, look at this seat. Alright guys, so fast forward into the future, I just want to say a couple of things before ending the vlog. First of all, I don't think I realised at the time how big of a deal this car event was because once it was over, then all over the internet, all the car pages, everyone was talking about this car because it's, it's a very big deal. It's one of Bentley's most iconic cars and that's why they care so much about it. And you saw the specs on screen earlier when I was at the presentation. So yeah, you know it's a beast. It looks good, but it's also a beast. So I'm privileged to be able to go to the event, but also to check out the car the next day in the showroom. Me and my boy Sahi went together because one of our friends is actually interested in buying the car and he wasn't here. So we thought we'd go check it out for ourselves and also for him so that we can like tell him what it's like and stuff but yeah it gave us a good opportunity to check out the car properly so shout out to Bentley because they were really really nice and it helped us out a lot you guys didn't get to see him too much on the vlogs but hopefully in the future him and loads of other friends are going to be featured much more when we're doing more casual stuff as well but for now I completely forgot I need to show you guys the bag that they gave me and what was inside it so let's have a look at that so I didn't want to forget if you guys remember as I was leaving the event they gave me this bag and there's a couple of things in here and there's one like largish box which looks like this. It's got like a nice Bentley logo and stuff. I feel like it's a mug. I'm not entirely sure. I feel like it could be a mug. Okay, no, it is not a mug. It is a candle. All right, so this is the candle with the nice Bentley logo and stuff. So it's called the Turgus 37. So this scented candle is actually inspired by the interior leather found in every Bentley car, apparently. So is that what the leather smells like? I'm not sure. Apparently so. There's also this really nice booklet of the new Continental. So I think it, does it have all the feet? No. Oh, it's just, actually, no, it does. It's got like all the design and all that kind of stuff. That is really cool. So it's got like pictures and explanations of like 
designs and just really cool pictures of the car in like loads of different locations. And lastly, this is the biggest item in the bag and it is pretty cool. This is like a frame of like that design sort of graphic that they've been using, which is really cool. So it's got like a stand and everything, that is pretty nice. Thank you very much to Bentley, that is very cool. All right guys, so that is everything that they gave me. Massive shout out to Bentley again because they hooked us up really nicely. Also, at the start of the vlog, at one point I mentioned that I was writing an article. Basically, long story short, I'm gonna mention it properly in a future vlog. I'll talk about it in more detail. I've got back into writing about sports, in particular football. So I've been writing about like loads of different topics and stuff, so I'll, I'll explain that to you guys a bit later. There's also a link in the description below to one of the articles I recently wrote. So yeah, if you're a fan of football and England and Arsenal in particular, then you'll enjoy that one. Show it some love. As always guys, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Please do share this video with any car fans that you know because I've been looking online and there's not actually that many people that have gotten to like, have a look at the car how we did. Like, you know, we, we, got it, we got to look at it very casually, the second day especially. So yeah, share it with any car fans. Hopefully they'll enjoy it. As always guys, drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.